I'm in Fig Tree Pocket in Brisbane to meet Dr. Graham Adkins, who 16 years ago decided to turn his one hectare of bare horse paddock, clay gullies and weed infested bush into this haven for native plants and local wildlife. I saw photos of what you started with and it was a huge job. It really has been a long labour of love. There was very little in the way of remnant native bushland here. We had to clear an extensive amount of weeds, weed shrubs, weed trees, and then start planting. And it took up any number of weekends over months and years. Have you always been a gardener? No, I have not. My interest in the natural history of uh, Australia really started with bird watching in my mid twenties. And that then led on to wanting to achieve a greater understanding of the environment in which the birds were found and the animals that shared that environment. And one thing led to another. My passion for gardening then developed out of that. From a design point of view, this garden is very appealing. The perimeter and outer reaches extend into and recreate the local bush, while closer to the house, a series of ponds sweep along a curved stone wall and provide habitat for fish, frogs, insects and lizards. On one side we have a somewhat triangular pond that has crefts turtles and a number of eastern water dragons. And then behind my left shoulder we have other works in progress. Two ponds that I'm trying to create a frog habitat or frog friendly habitat. So by having a still pond, another pond with running water, we're hoping to attract different sorts of tree frogs. I notice you've got a high wall around the ponds. What's the reason for that? The reason for the high wall is to keep cane toads out of the water and away from vegetation. People know that adult cane toads are toxic, but their younger stages, even as tadpoles, are toxic also. So the wall has to be of a certain height, higher than a cane toad is capable of leaping or crawling. My dream was to attempt to recreate the almost random order or disorder, if you wish, of a rainforest. Over the years, Graham's planted over 2,000 new plants, a thousand around the house and another thousand in the bushland section of the property. I notice you've got a lot of grass trees or xanthorias around. The xanthorias are just such a, a typical essential part of the Australian landscape and when flowering attract native bees and a variety of birds up close to the house. Graham works as a surgical pathologist and spends his days contemplating mortality through the lens of a microscope as he examines biopsy samples for traces of cancer and other life-threatening conditions. It's hard to distance yourself from feeling that there is a person at the other end of this diagnosis and, and a family that will be extremely saddened by what we do. So it is extremely soothing psychologically that you can leave work behind, you can focus on something that makes you happy, that you feel as though you can make a positive contribution to the natural environment, the wildlife that lives here, and to both myself as an individual and family and friends. It's an uplifting sort of experience to be surrounded by bush, nature, the colours, the smells, the sounds. It is just very uplifting. Almost guaranteed to lower your blood pressure, make you forget the stresses and strains of a working day.